Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am Sean Anderson, Most Valuable Podcast, and alongside me is Brandon Swanee Swanson. You get to talk about your boy, Jared Goff, as we're talking about the Los Angeles Rams taking on the New Orleans Saints. You've been calling for Jared Goff to be starting for a while. You missed last week for his start, but now you're back. What would you see from him in the first start? Uh, well, you know, I didn't see any turnovers. It's true. That's what I didn't see. Mm-hmm. I didn't see any turnovers from Jared Goff. He still looks to be a work in progress, um, but Case Keenum's a work in progress too. So which work in progress you want to go well, with? Well, one's has some hope, and then one's Case Keenum. It's true. I I I think the key in this one still is Jared Goff. I think that uh, you know each week I'm going to be looking for him. You know, can he move up? A little bit each each week. Can he can he lo- is he going to look like he learned a little bit more mm-hmm. in practice, put in the time, and that he's going to be able to read defenses and stuff like that. He's going up against the New Orleans Saints defense. It, it, it's not great. Uh, that's not great. But they can make some plays, especially against this rookie quarterback. So for the Rams, I'm definitely looking for for Jared Goff. And then on the other side for the New Orleans Saints, I, I'm looking for I'm looking for some life from the New Orleans Saints. That's 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 one thing that I really haven't seen in a little bit. I, I just haven't seen that New Orleans Saints team that comes out and just boom. You know, they just explode. Since that 49ers and, game, yeah. And I, I think that, uh, you know, that's that's what I want to be able to see. You know, now, I, Mark Ingram, I don't know if they're going to have him for this game. Um, I, I think he's questionable. Um, and then that means that you have Tim Hightower. I, I think that you need to involve Brandon Cooks a little bit more. He's been either, man, he's having a great game or... He, he just stayed on the bus. I think that you really need to bring him out in this game, too, and make some plays for him. You've got so many playmakers on this team, and your ultimate one is Drew Brees because he's the one that's doing it and finding these guys. So I, I think in this one I've got to go with the Saints, um, but uh, I'm not going to count the Los Angeles Rams out. I'm going to say that this one is going to be 28 28- 225. That's a lot of points there for the Rams. But Todd Gurley did have a nice run uh, for the Rams. <laughs> Todd Gurley had one nice run. That Th- was outstanding. That was probably the one nice play throughout that whole game uh, because that was a bad game against the Rams and Dolphins. And the Rams blew it there. Uh, Rams are a bad team, but let's see what happens here. Tell us what you think of this matchup down below. Do the Rams get on the winning side finally, or do the Saints get to uh, near 500? Yeah, near 500. They wouldn't be. They'd be five and six. They need to get closer to 500. Five I was. I was thinking they win a game, they'll be at 500. But I don't know how to do math. But anyways, tell us in the comments down below who you think is going to win this one. Also, don't forget to check out the description. You can find all of our social media stuff, and you also find Patreon.com/slash Most Valuable Podcast. If you want to see the quality of these videos improve just a little bit more, and also some of those uh, donations and some of the some of that help will go towards pushing Ricky Woodmer down a snow hill. But anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. For Brandon Swanson, I am Sean Anderson. We'll see you next time.